Hello happy people Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to add a new sticker just like this in your Elementor or WordPress website and you are in position also to navigate through the different news feeds that are in that new sticker and if you click on any of the contents in this new sticker it will take you directly to the page that is being echoed or the blog post that is being showed up right there. Let's dive straight in and get started. Now first things first you should be logged into your WordPress or Elementor website in this case i'm already logged in and you're going to add a new plugin called htmega add-ons for elementor by doing a simple search here for htmega it will show up and you'll be in position to install and activate once it's activated i already have it for me activated it will show up right here in the dashboard menu once you click over there you realize that it will list a number of widgets that you can use in your elementor or wordpress website right here and at the moment i have all these widgets here enabled but you have to make sure that you have the new sticker widget enabled and activated so i'll look for it up here new sticker it is the one right here so mine is activated by activated it means that i am able to use it in my elementor or i'm able to use it in my widgets or to find it in my widgets area now what i have to do is simply to open up a section or a heading section or a page section where i want to display my new sticker in this case i'm opened up in this case i've already opened up a page but it can even be any other section it can be even at the top right here of your header now i'm going to add a new section in this new section i'll come here to the widgets area and i'll pick up a news ticker which is this one and i'll simply add it right here to my new section and when you look over here you realize that i have also a number of styles that htmega adds for me so for example if i navigate through here you realize that i have other themes or styles that i can use for my new sticker so you're not only limited to the one you're seeing here so that is style 4 style 5 in this case i used a style 5 one and then style 6 and even style 7. so let's go and select our style 5 and right here i just changed the ticker label to just now you can name that anything that you want and i even added an icon so i simply go to the icons library and then pick up the bell and then i add it over there and now this is what i basically did then the other thing i can add a date by simply enabling the date which is this one here and this date is the date that will display when that blog post or page content was added to your website and here you can choose where to auto start and even you can say you want to pause on hover for example when you hover over this section just like this but uh, i want it to be not that and then the other thing you can choose the direction of the rotation whether to go up or down so in this case i chose it to be down and then when i come over here to the content options you can choose the content source by default it is to posts but we can even choose pages to display in our new sticker so i'll just leave it to posts it also gives me abilities to choose from a category in case you're running like a news blog or an event blog you basically want to show up events right here that you've added to your website so you can simply create a category for that and you can enable it right here and only what has been added to that category will show up right here in your new sticker so i'll leave it at default and by default it means that you'll pick up everything in my blog post here you can limit on how many events are going to appear or to show up in the new sticker so you can just leave it at zero now that means it will be unlimited or everything in your blog post or you can simply limit it to something like five and then here down you can even add a custom order and set order by the id the name the title the comment count and also you can even order by descending or ascending okay i just don't want anything here and then here we have the options for the navigation which is right here so we can choose which icons are going to display over there by coming over here to the icon library and select an icon that you want to use in that section so in this case i'll leave this at default and when we come over here to our style section we can add a style to our widget right here so for example if we change the color here it will change our new sticker color so i'll leave it here to black and automatically here you can even choose images to display in case you want to use a, an image as your background for your new sticker you can add a couple of other stylings for example for the padding radius margin 
and when you come here to the content you can change the content color what is happening in your new sticker i'll leave it in white and even you can change the font size so increasing it a bit i'll leave it at around 16 over there and then the label so you can change the color of your label right here i'll leave it in white even the typography and a lot more including here the navigation icons you can also change their color these are the ones right here on the extreme end okay i'll leave them to be in white and you can even use a gradient as a background color for your navigation the same for the date we can increase on the size of our date by simply coming over over here and choose to increase your date option so and we also have other advanced features we can add for example like the motion effects the background custom positioning and a lot more so once you are done you simply hit update and once you hit update let's go to our page where we have our new sticker enabled you realize we only have one element but automatically when it's updated it will show up our other element and like i said you can add this section to any part of your website either in the header in the footer or even within the page sections so that's a simple way you can create a new sticker for your elementor or wordpress website for free in case you have any questions or comments please let me know down in the comment box below and in case you're new to the channel please subscribe and if you like the video please hit the like button thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one